Hi, for this video, what we are going to do is we're going to learn how to find the expected value using the TI-84 graphing calculator. If you remember, the expected value is the same thing as the mean, and since we are dealing with a probability distribution for this one, um, we would take each of our individual values times the probability of that individual value and sum it all together. It's the same thing as finding the mean of a probability distribution. So if it asks you to find the expected value, you are simply finding the mean of the probability distribution. For this situation, what we have is we have raffle tickets are being sold for $5. So if you are buying or participating in this raffle ticket, you would use $5 to buy a ticket. There are four prizes that are being awarded. Um, the largest is a $1,000 prize, $500, $200, and $100. What we are going to do is we are going to calculate the expected value of the gains for this particular raffle um, if 2,000 tickets are sold. I have already set up a probability um, distribution function down below. In here, if you're wondering where the 995 came from, it's because we purchased the tickets for $5.00. And so when we, if we won the $1,000 prize, we're really only winning $995, or that's what our gain is going to be because we paid $5 to play in this raffle. So in order to use the calculator to do this, we're going to do what we do a lot of times in the graphing calculator. We're going to hit the stat button and go to edit. And I'm going to enter all of my gains in L1 and I'm going to enter all of my probabilities in L2. Um, make sure that when you are putting in the negative five, and just to make sure that you guys understand where the negative five came from, the negative five is because this represents all of the people that played the raffle but did not win a prize. So everybody, because they had to pay $5 to play, majority of our participants are not going to win, and so they're gonna be out $5, which is where the negative five came from. After we put in our um, gains into L1, we are gonna put in our probabilities into L2. So I would simply put in one divided by 2000. And notice that when I do this, it converts it to five E negative four. That E negative four is scientific notation and this really means um, 0 0.0005, but it doesn't have enough room to put this in here, so it converts it to scientific notation. So that 5e negative 4 does not mean that there's an error. Um, that's just the calculator's way of writing it in scientific notation. For the next one, I would do the same thing, and because it's 1 divided by 2,000, it's gonna, again, it's going to give me the same thing. Okay, and then for the last one, the 1996, because I know that I already had this set up for you when we came in, um, the 1996 came from the fact that since there are only four prizes being awarded, that means that out of 2,000 people, 1,996 people are not going to win a prize. So majority of people that participate in this are not going to win a prize. So um, to put in the last one, we would do 1996 divided by 2000 and it will convert it to a decimal and notice that it's 0.998 so that means that there's a 99.8 percent probability that you're going to lose on this so it's it's most likely that this negative five is going to happen which means that it's going to have the greatest influence on your overall expected value so for this, what we are going to do is now to find the expected value of x um, using the calculator. Remember that it's the same thing as the mean, so what we can do is we can go to stat and over to calculate. And remember that under one of our stats, this allows us to find things like the mean and the median, so I'm going to choose option one. For this one, we want to make sure that our list, and if this screen does not come up for you, I will reference that in just a second. Um, the list that we are using is L1, the frequency is our probability list, and that would be L2, and I would hit calculate. And X bar, remember, is the calculator's way of notating the mean. Even though we are dealing with a probability distribution and this is mu, we know that the expected value is equal to mu, the calculator, like I've said in other videos, it does not um, change it to mu just because it's a probability distribution. 
So you have to remember which symbols to use because your calculator always uses X bar. And notice that it's a negative 4.1. This means that our expected gains are really going to be a loss. Um, so the expected gain is negative $4.10. So on average, most people are going to lose $4.10 rather than win. In a situation like this where it's a raffle, most likely they're raising money for something. So that means that the charity would end up earning money at the end. Um, but most likely you are not going to win because your expected gain is negative $4.10. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure that you are checking out all of my other videos.